Hello, this is Justin at The Tech Train here. And if you use Microsoft Excel, the chances are you've come across this hashtag value error at some point. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you five different ways in which the hashtag value exclamation mark error can occur and how to fix them. You'll see I have the five examples here. See if you can spot what the problems are and I'll reveal the solutions in just a second. Let's take a look then at these issues one at a time. What I have here are numbers in columns A and B. In column C, I have what I'm trying to do. And in column D, that's where my formulas are written that are creating these errors. So what are the errors? Let's take a look at them one at a time. Here, I'm supposed to be subtracting B from A equals A1 minus B1. But I have a value error. Why? Well, because accidentally when I was typing, and I'm all thumbs when I am typing, I typed a comma instead of the minus sign. Very simple to do. Uh, sometimes we do accidentally hit the keyboard or we're pasting something in and we don't realize that we're typing in the wrong symbol. So sometimes it can be as simple as not typing the correct symbol. So if in this case I change that comma to a minus, now I get my answer correctly. That's the first issue. The second issue here, we're adding 23 and 12. Our formula should be equals A2 plus B2. And if we look at that, it is. We haven't mistyped the formula. So what's going on? The answer is that if we look at the number 12, we can see that for some reason when we've typed this number in, we've got a space between those digits. And an extra space typed in accidentally inside a number could cause this value error. So if we have a space in here, what we'll need to do is to get rid of that space, close that number up, press enter, and now my formula is working fine. So just watch if you have that value error, whether any of the numbers that you're calculating with have those extra spaces in them. The third one. Here, we've got the number 14 and the number nine, and we're looking to multiply them, equals A3 times B3. Well, let's have a look at the formula. That seems correct, we've not made any typing mistakes, and our numbers don't have spaces in them. So what's the issue? The issue this time is with the number 14. And although it looks like the number 14, actually, that first digit there is a letter I. That's a one, that's an I. So we've accidentally typed I4 in here, and Excel doesn't know what to do with that. How can it multiply I4 by nine? It's not a cell reference, it's just simply a letter and a number, and that makes no sense. So we need to change that I for a one. So sometimes if you get the uh, value error, it's because there's a letter rather than a symbol. That can easily be done perhaps if you type 90 and you accidentally type a zero, sorry, an O rather than a zero. So here, this is the letter O and a zero looks like that. Of course, if you've changed the font that you're using, some fonts make it even harder to spot errors like that. So using sensible, simple, clear fonts can help. Let's look at the, uh, the fourth example now. Here we have 10 pounds and we have five pounds 34. And we're looking to add those two together, but we have an error. Double click that and the formula seems fine. So A4 plus B4 is nothing wrong with that. There are no spaces and we've not used digits as a letters where we meant to type a digit. The reason though is because we have typed in the pound symbol and the pence symbol and the decimal point rather than formatting this cell as currency. If we look at the top, we can see that these two cells here are formatted as text. And so because we've typed in these symbols, the computer is looking at these symbols and letters and wondering what on earth you mean by trying to add them together. So in this case, what we need to do is to get rid of the pounds and the pence and just type in the numbers as they should be, 5.34. And then if we want to format it as currency, 
we can select those cells, come to the top, and instead of text, change that to currency. And there we are. So we now have the formula working correctly, and we formatted this as currency as well. Now our fifth and final example here, we've got the number 17, and possibly you might have a whole row of numbers here, and sometimes you'll put not applicable if that number is not needed. So you'll have 17 and various other numbers, not applicable sometimes, and you're trying to add them all together. Now you may realize that of course, when you're adding these together by typing in numbers, sorry, letters where you should have numbers, that's gonna cause an error. But if you do want to display not applicable in those cases where you don't need a number there, rather than just leaving it blank, how do you solve that problem? Well, you can do this by simply changing the way you write your formula. So you can still have not applicable or null, or whatever you want to put in those cells rather than leaving them blank. But instead of equals A5 plus B5, we can type equals sum and then all the cells that we want to add up, which would be A5 to B5 in this case, close our brackets and press enter. So this is adding up all of these cells, but it's ignoring any cells that contain non-numeric information. So that's five different ways in which we could generate the value errors in Microsoft Excel and five different ways of spotting those errors and solving them. I hope this helps you. If it did, please do leave a like below. If you have any comments, then please leave them below and I will endeavour to reply to those as soon as possible. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.